some of the residents of Indian River States right here in their seats, just like they are every home game for the Fighting Indians. And this time we tagged along with them as they headed out to the stadium for one of their favorite days of the week. Boarding the bus for Friday Night Lights, the residents of the Indian River Estates Retirement Community are on their way to a special pregame tailgate at the Citrus Bowl. It's a lot of fun because we laugh, we cry if they lose, which they don't, but we uh, have a lot of fun together, we eat together, and just cheer them on. For some, like Judy Shorner, it's a family tradition that goes back to the 70s. She's decked out in Vero Beach spirit from head to toe. My brothers played there, two, my brother and my husband's brother. My two children graduated from Vero Beach High School. Two grandchildren graduated from high school there. And my daughter is a counselor. For others, like Lee McGow, the Fighting Indians are an adopted team. This football team, and all of the fans that they get. It's just a very heartwarming to see how spirited everybody is. There's a special bond between these football players and fans. Fun, it actually starts at the beginning of the season and we get to go have dinner with them over at their place. So to see them come over to our place and, and you know, have have a little tailgate, it, it, it you know puts a smile on my face. And for those from Indian River Estates, it's like having dozens more grandchildren to be proud of. They don't know how warm that makes us feel, but there is always going to be a generational connection between uh, the, the students at, at Vero Beach and the residents out at Indian River. So these games are less about what's happening on the field for the Indian River Estates crew and more about that camaraderie and spirit for the fighting Indians. In Vero Beach, I'm Stephanie Suskind.